All right, guys, how you doing today? This is season one, episode four of Dire Wolf 20, the 1710 pack. My name is Tubetastic. Right up there, you see I'm a live streamer. I stream live every single day. I want you guys to come and join me. Come play on our two live servers. We have Dire Wolf 20, 1710. We have Mod Sauce, which is 1710. We're constantly looking for new packs to put on our server. We have plenty of RAM to do it, so. Come join the fun. How you get to come play, there'll be links underneath the video. And also, right up there. Come meet me in my stream. Cool. All right, let's get started. So, there's always got to be one badass slime, huh? Trying to ruin my video, punk? Get bent. Okay. So, last episode we ended... Mm, I'm not too sure. But, oh yeah, yeah. I was in the the nether getting a little bit of lava to my base so that I could have some sort of power well I said stay tuned because there's gonna be new power well I have new power but I'll show you the upgrades so far that we've we have this is Honda's Botanica which or Botnia which I've never used before what's Botanica I don't know I've never used this mod before it's pretty cool that's hers well I think it's cool we'll have to see I might try it but Honda built us a pool which is so much hype. So you enter out of the house. Uh, I'll show you. You know this room. This is the mud room. Um, whoop, whoops. What's going on? Okay. So she built us a really cool pool. Take a dip. All right. And then, I don't know why there's a goat in here. Get out of here, you smelly goat. Then... Uh, she built us a barbecue pit, which is really cool. And a, an umbrella for when you're eating and a nice table. It's very much hype. Then um, we'll go inside the house now. Mud room. Um, somebody tell me don't stand on the kitchen table. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Uh... This is my bedroom, me and Honda's. Um, she finished the rug, which I really, really like. Um, it's cool, and she gave us a little waterfalls. For in here, we have a back door. I still haven't put a door on here. I'm gonna get to it. Mm -mm -mm. Um, as for in here, I put an experience tank now. Uh, I don't know if I showed this before or not. The drum was always here, but now I have these hooked up so that we can get pull the experience out of the drum. Um, still the reservoir. Tinker's Construct. This is the Enchanting Church, where we have all the mini-me's. There's Tubetastic. Steve-O. Um... There's Mini CC right there. Yo. I think CC's playing right now. Yeah, she's on the server too. Then, Honda Chick right here. Where are you, Honda? Well, she's embarrassed. So, that's the enchanting church. You gotta close these doors to keep those monkeys in there. Then, we go downstairs. Um, this is my workshop. And I've changed my power. See, there used to be lava here. Uh, that's what the tank was that, well, you see in the other episodes. So now I have this dimensional transceiver, which is a tesseract. But it's new. It's Ender I.O. form. It's completely full of power right now. And it's powering up all my machines. This is my plumbing job. Pretty good job, I might say. Very, very accurate. So, uh, up there, I'll show you the machines. We have... This is like a charger for charging my power um, tools. See, I have my axe has a power. Um, this is my hammer has power. My excavator has power. I'm not sure whose excavator this is, to be honest. It ended up in my bag. I think somebody gave it to me. I'm pretty sure it might have been WizWiz. If it was you, Wiz, thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. 
Um, it's cool. Let's charge it up. Okay. And all right, so we have that, the infuser, and then sag mill, alloy smelter. These are sterling generators that just, damn, they're not really working anymore because I have the power hooked up differently. Uh, pulverizer, redstone furnace, uh, fluid transposer, and magma crucibles up there. This is a whole bag of. of well, you can see how much is there. Not bag block. Why would I call that a bag? Derp. <laughs> then um, this vat is really interesting. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but I'll show you what it makes. Here's the recipes. You can make hooch, rocket fuel. I don't know why I would need that, but I'm going to find out why. This nutrient, I had, the reason why I made this is because I needed this, this nutrient stuff, and I'll show you why later in the video. Just remember that this is what makes the gas for the product I'm going to show you. And then fire water. That's what it makes. So then, and then I also made one of these, a soul bender, which is cool. Induction smelter is there. And a, the painting machine, which I showed you last episode, I do remember doing that. So we can move right along. Oh yeah, I've made some um, of these big, huge energy cells. I think they're the biggest ones in the game, just because I have the extra power now. Uh, here's my extruder for water and well not for water for making obsidian stone or cobblestone here's the lava that goes with that I do f I finally found some experience berries which is really cool I'm gonna get these to be auto done really soon or I'm gonna ask my friend odd user to come help me with that he's really good at getting those autoed um, CC has made some improvements to her uh, room too We'll go in here. She's on the server, so I don't mind kind of going in. Um, she's got herself a head collection now. There's Odd User's head. Uh, Blaze head, some creepers. She hunted a Naga. No, I think somebody donated the Naga to her. I gave her the, fi the Blaze head, and I donated the Enderman head. I might come back and reclaim this Enderman head at some point if I need it for a recipe. Um, I also gave her this uh, lava tank. She was the one... She was the one who um, who brought lava to our our base first, so she definitely deserves to have as much lava as she wants. She went out and got this to power up our smeltery in the very, very beginning of days. So thank you for that. Oh, and she also built her own smeltery here. I don't quite know why she wants to build a smeltery in her room, which is totally cool. I'm just trying to figure out why when we have one upstairs. it's pro We have one right there. It's probably because that one's full of a bunch of materials that somebody just left in there. I don't know who did that. Here, let me show you what I mean. Like, look inside here. We have everything under the sun. Tin, lead, gold. Maybe she just wanted to build her own. I have no idea. But GG for her. I'm, I'm happy that she's doing it. Because, you know, she, she knows that mod now. Okay, that was the workshop area. CC's room. I don't think there's too much more downstairs. Oh, yes. Yes, there is. Hold on. One more little area that um, Honda made. It's probably not so little. Where am I? Okay, here. Um, Honda made like a temporary storage facility. I haven't used it at all. What are all the slimes? Man. There's so much light down here. You think that these slimes wouldn't be spawned? Oh, man. Now I got my work cut out for me. Today's episode, Tube Kills a Million Slimes. Is she talking to me? She's trying to give me iron. She's very, very nice. Alright. So. She put these barrels together to, for storage purposes. Good for her. I don't need it because like I showed you guys before and I'll show you right now. I have my own storage system and it never leaves my body. It's on me at all times. And it probably has as much storage as all those barrels. Well, I don't know about all that, but pretty much. As much as I need. And let me show you how. Um in here 
I have, I think I showed this last episode, but I want everybody to know this because it's the coolest thing since sliced bread. Tinker's Construct, you make this belt. It's called the Traveler's Belt. You can craft it. Put it in this slot here. I go up here and put it in this slot. And once you do that, what it'll do is you see this is your spell bar down here where all your tools or whatever is. Your bar. Well, when you hit B, it will switch your bar to that. And I switched it. My, the bar is empty. But I put gold bags in every single slot. So now I have endless slots. I mean, I have so much room for stuff. It's unbelievable. Look at each bag. Look at, look at all my ingots. I have a, a second bag of ingots. It's craziness. Oh, there's CC right there. Hi. Here, here what? Oh, the gold. Uh, to cook it. I can have, you can have all the irons. Thank you. Cook it. So to cook this, that she just gave us all this irons, you just dump it in here. It's going to go through there. Put it in here. So you put it in here, uh, the pulverizer, it's going to get pulverized, then doubled. Then it's going to get put into the redstone furnace. And then it's going to get put into my new chest. Oh yeah, this is new too. I took out a few things here. She's dumping experience into the tank upstairs. I put some sky chests here. And CC put this really nice redstone block to kind of make it look better. And there's a chest here, but I don't know, I don't use that yet. Okay, that's that. Another thing that I want to show you guys was that bag is pretty much hype, right? So you see these um, traveler anchor anchors? You stand on them, and I have them all over my base, right? You can teleport to them just by, you know, hit spacebar and hit spacebar and hit spacebar. This is upstairs in this. This oh, it's another thing I want to show you guys. Um, here we have a new dome. Uh, there's the pool, there's my house, we're outside now. Look up here, Honda Chick built uh, me a dome. And I'm gonna be using it for Tinker's Construct. Um, which, no, not Tinker's Construct, I'm a derp head. Um, Thalmcraft. And I have some of these, I have the crucible, the table, the bookshelf, the table, but I'm not gonna do it here, it's actually gonna be upstairs. This dome is split into two sections. And I'm going to move the traveler's anchor and put it here. If I can get down here. I am horrible. So I'm going to move it in here. So I'm going to put it in here. There's CC. And... I'm going to put all, like, this is a nice flat area for th for Thomcraft. And then with, with this uh, staff, this is what I want to show you guys. It's, it's called Tube's Big Staff. <laughs> but now I don't need to stand on the anchors. I can actually just teleport to them with the staff. Right? Oh, hold on, I don't want you guys to see that yet. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. There we go. Okay. So now I'm in CeCe's room. And I want to show you guys my new power system now. Now we're back in my workshop. So see how I'm traveling? Just hit that. And I can go up to the dome right here. Just hit that. And I don't need to be standing on the anchor too. Watch. I can be over here on this tree. As long as I can see the anchor. Well, there it is. Boom. See that? Not just that. But look, I can travel right through the wall with this staff. Tube's big staff. CC. She's bugging me during my video. So then, 
see this wall? Watch, I'll teleport right through it. There you go. So nothing can stop you with this staff back through the wall. Okay, now I want to show you guys my power. This is what I'm very, very excited about. Um, I have a... Well, where's the staff? Oh, let me shut this rain off. So let's teleport right to here. Look at this. Hmm? That's a nuclear reactor, and it's a freaking huge one. Look at the size of it. It's got 15 rods in it. 15 reactor rods. CC just poured lava. It's got 15 rods in it. It's got tons and tons of power. A lot. I have it barely turned on. And the thing just cranks. Uh oh, it's chewing that up pretty. I can shut it off for now. It's chewing up my yellow. I'll tell her after uh, to give us give me yellow. I'm gonna shut this off for now because we, we don't even really need it. It's all full. Um, shut it off. This will be in here. We can use that. And look, I built this. It's a it's a storage bank. It holds a lot of power. I'm going to make it even bigger. I'm going to try to get it to hold 5, 6 million or more. 25 million more or whatever. Uh, we'll see. I just have to make more blocks. It's a, it's a, a, it's a, this is 5 blocks. Each block you add, it adds, I think, 25,000 more storage. I'm not sure about the numbers. This thing I also built too. It's called a Killer Joe. And what it will do, and that this is what I needed the power for, the nutrient power. Look, you can store, it saves experience too. So what it does is it'll kill monsters. Anything comes near here, it kills it. And it takes its experience too, and it saves it for me. I can come back and get the experience from it. All I have to do is put a sword in it, and boom, it's good to go. Called Killer Joe. Uh, it's Ender IO. Awesome, awesome. It's pretty tough to make though. See this, the, the head in it? <laughs> creeper head okay so that's pretty much it but I do want to show you one more thing which I think is the coolest besides my nuclear reactor which is bigger than my house if you take a look at it I mean it's 9 by 9 by 10 I think it's huge and it cost so much to make it was it was hard to make material wise because I don't have a quarry and I only used one pickaxe now I have a hammer but I didn't then WizWiz -Wiz talked me into using this hammer but before all I had was this quarry I mean this uh, one pickaxe so what I want to show you guys besides that all that and I think it's probably the coolest part of the video and we'll end with this is this over here okay so first of all I want to show you my carrot farm which the, the okay the carrot farms right here so I made these energy cells to power it. It's uh, the farming station. It's right here. I think I showed you guys last time. Oh, I'm going to need a new pickaxe pretty soon. Um, this thing's doing nothing but making me carrots, okay? But I want to show you guys something. There's nothing in here but carrots, right? I have these 48 diamonds, okay? See them? I'm going to spread them out in here. 48 diamonds are in there. I have none in my inventory. We're going to go back this way. Look at my inventory. No diamonds. Okay, we're going to go back this way. We're going to go into my house. We're going to go into my house. We're going to go downstairs in my house. Oh, let's dump the experience. Okay. We're going to go downstairs in my house. Okay, now we're in my workshop. Oh, there's Cece. So, we're at my workshop. And now, let's say, for some reason, I'm starving. And I need carrots. Well, you know that staff I showed you guys? Tube's big staff? Check this out. Alright, look. I'm going to point it over here and hit the button. Now look. There's the carrot farm. Right? 
Look at this. There's the chest. There's my diamonds. I'm going to get my diamonds out. And let's say I was starving, so let's get some carrots like I just got. Bam. Okay. Now look, I'm still in my house. Look. There's the 48 diamonds. Now how about that for hype? I can be anywhere and have access to that. As long as I could see it. Right? So, not just... It's over here. The carrot farm. So not just... I have access to this, but I can access the machine... I can put, uh, um, like right here on the floor, if I had a crafting table, I could have access to the crafting table and craft an item as well. And then keep it. It's really cool. And it's done by this block right here, which you can see. And we'll go outside so that you guys can see what kind of block it is. So let's go back outside. Dude, was that a zombie in my house? Oh, she just scared me. <laughs> then oh somebody put these in here too it's pretty cool it's like a thing that pushes you up I don't know who did that uh, we need to go to the the farm which is over here so there's the block right there it's called an ender IO and if you read here it allows remote access to nearby blocks used with traveler anchors or the staff so I think maybe I can even be standing on a an anchor let's try that I never tried that we'll try it for science there's an anchor over here and where's this the farm I can't see it because it's too far away or something. Maybe we'll try it from in here. Okay, it was over here. Yeah, I can't see it. That's the problem. When you're standing on the anchor. Which is fine. I don't. I, as long as I have Tube's big staff, um, we're good. So, make sure I got everything done. The pool, staff, the crafting block, yep. My nuclear power. Oh yeah, okay. So, underneath the video, I'm going to put a link for our new Facebook page, right? Uh, I want to see if you guys like Facebook. If you're into it, you can leave comments. It's going to be your Facebook page. It's about my stream and our community. So please take part in it if you want. You don't, 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 you don't have to by any means. Also, I have... Um, We have an, a live auction going on right now. Um, but which is on the Facebook page. You can go there to bid um, your nub cakes away. Nub cakes is a currency that we have on my channel. Um, you can find out more about all that stuff when you come visit me live right up there. Um, I think that's it. Oh, yes. There's one more thing. So usually at my videos I give away a secret word so people can come into my stream and say this secret word to get nub cakes so this week this week's secret word is going to be worth 50 nub cakes for the first person to say it only one person first person um, and it's going to be tube it's going to be a phrase it's going to be tube can you get 15 likes because that's what I want you guys to do hit the like button Let's try to get 15 likes on this video right here on YouTube. Come into my stream and say, Tube, I hope you get 15 likes. And that's going to be the phrase for 50 nub cakes. Tube, I hope you get 50, 15 likes on your YouTube video. Cool? Sounds good to me. So we're going to leave it there. And thank you guys. Tube out.